Great. I think we, we are ready. So uh, thanks everyone to be uh, part of the, the session of today. We're going to talk about Unify Operator, which is our uh, one of our main solutions. Uh, Kel Hanson is going to be Hansen is going to be uh, doing the demonstrations. Our CTO and CEO, uh, myself, Wilbur Zapata. Which I'm going to just make the, a very short introduction of the company. We, as we already have made this uh, yesterday, we're going to. I'm just going to do a very very quick quick uh, presentation about the company. Uh, for the companies that persons that uh, don't know us, I mean, uh, Scanto has been founded in the year 2000, so we are almost 20 years uh, as a company. Uh, but since the beginning, we have started to work with Avaya, and that in those years, in 2001, our first version on IP Office in those days was Network Alchemy, uh, a black uh, black uh, uh, equipment uh, that was the previous generation of the IP Office. Uh, that's the name I think we comes from the SDX, the company that Avaya bought in those days. And uh, so we started very, very long time ago with Avaya, uh, officially they funded partners since 2007. And since then, we are developing uh, all our solutions around mm -hmm. Avaya. We support all Avaya platforms today and tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, for you, it's important to, we can discuss any kind of needs because uh, it's, very rare that we are not able to uh, integrate with any Avaya uh, technology today. Uh, obviously, we have a multi-vendor support uh, with several, several platforms, not only the UC space, by the way, so it's not only that we uh, only uh, integrate mm -hmm. with Microsoft Teams or Skype for Business, no, we integrate with several solutions like uh, Calnar mm -hmm. uh, databases, a lot mm -hmm. of stuff that I'm sure that Kel is going to be uh, um, the, best, the best guy to, to, to talk about all this. Uh, technical uh, capabilities. But for your information, we our multi-vendor uh, multi support is uh, really focused on helping via channels to move uh, the customers uh, to uh, the Avaya uh, solutions. So we are always helping. It's, it's very common to find a, a company that even they have chosen Avaya, obviously they have to keep some offices or branch offices or some technologies from third parties. So we are here to help you integrating everything, so everything just uh, has the same shape. Okay? Uh, headquartered in Denmark and offices in Germany and Spain, They're doing business all around Europe and Americas. Some of our customers, just for information, a lot of ones are not included, obviously. Uh, very uh, well, we are doing quite well in, in, in as I mentioned, in, in Europe and Americas. And in the last year, for instance, while well, we are really happy, we are, have moved. Uh, forward uh, <laughs> deeply in the UK market too, and hopefully going to uh, move into different regions in the coming months. Uh, something important, please, for you to know is that um, we are a development house. I mean, we are not only a sell a package solutions. Uh, we are working with Avaya. Uh, very, uh, we have a very close relationship with Avaya in this case. Um, in the last years, um, we are cooperating with Avaya. Uh, in some special developments that years after that uh, become a solution. So today, uh, um, for, for instance, just last year, uh, something like 40% or, or of our revenue comes from special developments, not only with channels, but vendors and a mix of, of both. So anytime you have any need to, uh, to make any special developments on any UC space, call center space, Please let's have a let's have a talk. I mean, it's important for you to to know that we are here to partner with you and to fulfill all your requirements. Okay, so I think that's my part, and uh, I hand over to you, Kel. Yeah, thank thank you for joining. Uh, I'll be showing our uh, unified operator for uh, IP Office. Uh, we also have the application for uh, Avaya Aura. It looks very similar, uh, and it's very similar in the structure and the installation. So, um, uh, just to have a, a quick overview of the application, it is uh, we're trying to design it for a, a high usability and uh, easy to to see. So the icons are we're using large icons, and we're also trying to combine uh, combine color and shape uh, for make it easy to to read uh, the central part of this is the integration to active directory uh, where we are getting uh, the data from and uh, so this uh, the solution consists of a 
an SQL uh, database on a server, and that's where we collect all the information so we have a, a uniform uh, platform to, to get the data. Uh, on the server side, there's also uh, a status server, which is used to provide the, the phone status. And uh, it's also through the status server that we connect to other platforms to get uh, the phone status uh, for the solution. So this is uh, the setup. So you have a server where everything is installed and then you have the clients uh, that is, uh, is running on the, the PCs. Um, we, the design is, uh, is, is, is um, in a way that you have uh, some buttons at the top and they are mostly for, for presentation. Uh, so you can use a mouse and you can use a uh, mouse over to get help on how to, to use the application. On the left side, you can select home groups and on the IP office, we are presenting uh, the number of calls in queue and how long time they have been waiting. And uh, with the version three, we have also introduced uh, cherry picking. So now you will be able to see calls in the queue and I will demonstrate that uh, when I've done with the walkover of the application, then I will do some, some test calls and will show you how the application is working. In the middle sector, uh, there is uh, the call window. That is where you will see the, the incoming and outgoing calls. And we are trying to give, uh, we have a description part and that is where you will see uh, how the call, what route the call has taken to uh, to get to you. Um, and then below you have the, the search window and then at the bottom you have the input field. Uh, it is interactive, so when you type it will reduce the uh, amount of uh, hits and when you have a match it will go into the detail view. And in the detail view, you can see uh, there's help on which function keys that can give you different functionalities. F3 will do a transfer, F4 will transfer to mobile, F5 will uh, send an email. Uh, if you have your picture in uh, on a share or an AD, that can also be shown here, so you can have a, a picture of a person. And then you have phone status, you have ability to have uh, uh, um, building access or time access uh, integration. You have your PC status and option to have Skype status uh, as well. And team status is, uh, is coming. Um, when you have an exact match, you will also see uh, a list of the people in the same department uh, so that you easily can choose someone else in case that you uh, this person is not available. Also, what you can see in the overview is that uh, we have the calendar, and the calendar is uh, an integration on the server side with uh, Microsoft Exchange, Office 365, and also Google calendars. So we can take calendar information from a lot of different sources. Uh, we're using the colors uh, from the, um, the calendar side. So uh, a magenta one will be out of office, blue will be at a accepted appointment and uh, the blue one, the light blue will be a uh, tentative uh, one is not confirmed. When you look at the status buttons, you can see the green man shape, that is people that are available. Uh, the do not disturb sign or the do not enter sign will signal do not disturb. Uh, a curved arch with uh, uh, signaling uh, formatting and a black handles signals that the phone is unknown or not logged in. And then at the end you have a double man shape that is a home group and you will also be able to find a contact card somewhere. Uh, yeah, here. Uh, Texas is uh, a yeah, like contact for some reason. It can be a taxi or a, a florist or something. Uh, so you can also enter these kind of uh, contacts into the, the solution. Uh, the main source of data is from Active Directory, but in case you uh, do not have everything in AD, then you can go to the directory part and you can create uh, contacts, uh, users, uh, groups, and short codes. So you can also make codes that can uh, open a queue, close a queue, uh, open a door, all these feature codes that are available in, uh, in the IP office and in the Aura solution. And you can uh, also download and export of the uh, the content of the data for a backup. Um, 
Yeah, the department field, speed dial, everything. This is uh, um, like the walkover. Um, and um, I will go into a, a product presentation or demonstration if, uh, um, if that's okay. Uh, I don't know if there's any questions that we should uh, attend uh, at the moment. Mm -hmm. If there's any question, you can just write on the chat. I'm, I'm ready to answer all the questions. If not, I mean, at the end of the presentation, maybe we can open the, the mic, the microphones for anyone that wants to share something. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will do a presentation. And uh, the first thing I will present is uh, how you can do uh, a cherry picking and uh, we will get an incoming call. You can see here the call goes into the queue and the number is listed and you will see the wait time. And I can also make another call, one more. Now the second call comes into the queue and in case you decide this is more important than uh, the first one, then you just double click and the call will go to, to your phone and you can answer it. Um, if you want to transfer the call, you will just do a search. That could be Wilbert. I can see that he is not logged in, but I have an alternative uh, that is Paka. And, uh, but okay, there's a, a collision with the calendar, but just for this uh, purpose, I will do the transfer. And then I press star and uh, the call is gone and I can take the next call in the queue. Uh, you have an option to log in um, to the to the home group. Okay. Um, okay, I sent the call come back. <laughs> yeah, I'll just hang up. Um, you have an opportunity to enable you a login and hunt group. On the Aura uh, platform, we will do um, uh, elite agent integration or basic agent integration, uh, but you can also just be a device in a hunt group. Uh, so this is kind of the way that yeah, we're using the, inform uh, the, the Avaya system to, to route the call. So on the IP office, we're using the hunt group or the direct calls or the cherry picking, and then we are redirecting the call to, to your device. Or uh, on the Aura side, you can use the uh, normal call distribution, but also basic and elite agents. Um, but if you log in, uh, the call will be automatically uh, distributed to, to your device. Um, we have uh, made a big effort to make the search engine very strong. Uh, so you have, uh, first of all, you have the interactive search. Uh, so when you are searching, uh, it will go to an exact match. Uh, there are different ways of searching. Uh, I can just like, uh, okay, it depends on, yeah, like this. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm just putting in something of the start of the name and then something on the last of the name. And in this uh, demonstration, we don't have that many entries in the database, but normally even for very large organizations, to like eight, 10, 12,000 endpoints uh, on the Aura system, even just four to five, six uh, letters is enough to, to make an exact match. Uh, you can combine the search. Uh, so if you type in uh, like an apartment, uh, department, uh, you just press comma and then you can combine the search with uh, uh, just pressing comma and then a part of the name. Um, um, so there's different ways of searching and if uh, you can configure the search uh, that is done in the configuration, you can choose how you want the, the search to interact. And uh, the left column here is a free text search. Uh, the middle column is a search from the beginning and the right column is that this part is um, disabled in the search. You can customize how you want your, your search engine to work. Um, there's also a possibility to enable phonetic search. Uh, then you will be able to search for uh, names that are uh, where it's difficult to, to hear the spelling. It can be that you have a um, Norwegian 
uh, or Norse way of spelling Camilla with a K, uh, that will match with Camilla with a C and, and, and similar things, uh, Christian with C, H and K. Um, so these things can be configured and that can be adjusted to uh, also work uh, with uh, different kind of cultures. So you will see uh, like things that are difficult for you to spell in with your language can be easily configured. So it's a, uh, it will be easier for you to uh, have the wordings. Um, yeah, it's a little bit difficult to explain, but it's it's very easy to configure when you have seen how it's done. Um, it's rule based, so you just create a base the a rule that says that Christian and ch is the same thing. The C, K and ch is the same. Um, there's a lot of configuration options. Uh, I'll just walk through the the configuration. Uh, the settings here is just for. The default, you tell what line you want to use, how to access uh, outside. Um, you can set up how it should react when um, when a call comes in, when you hang up, when you transfer a call. Uh, one thing that we have is that we, we have this protected disconnect. Uh, when a call comes in um, from a customer, we will typically limit uh, the way that you disconnect the call. Uh, so you have to press uh, control minus to disconnect an incoming call instead of just minus, which is the default key for disconnect, because we want to protect the customer from being uh, accidentally disconnected. The search tab, we've been through that. The groups, you can choose what kind of groups you want to, uh, to monitor. Uh, it can also be groups that you're not part of. It could be any group. Uh, and a group listed here is uh, easy to transfer to. Uh, the first one we will normally expect to be your default queue. So that is control zero. You will normally not transfer calls back to your own group, but the other groups can be service groups in the organization that you easily want to transfer to. So for instance, here support will be control one and so on, control two, control three. As some system configuration, we can do Kanban, so if you want to put the call for waiting on a busy extension, you configure the default uh, shortcode in the IP office. And also on Aura, uh, the same thing. You will uh, use the shortcode or on Aura, we have an extended feature called Hang On Server, where you can, uh, where you can have uh, centralized uh, parking uh, of, the, uh, of the calls. We have priority call. Uh, which gives you an option to either break in uh, to a conversation. This can be used in in hospitals and, and similar situations where you want to um, uh, be able to, to overrule, uh, overrule a, a DND or a busy uh, device, a busy phone. Uh, if you are working in a, in a business center uh, location, we also have support for that. Then you can set it up to um, uh, show a greeting message. So when a call come in, uh, it will tell which company uh, is called and what to say uh, to this. And then it can also activate a filter across the uh, application. So it will only show the people from that company. So that's a very strong part for that, uh, um, <clears throat> for the business center uh, integration. Email, uh, you can build your own template here. And then when you press F5, it will uh, um, uh, fill out, show off the Outlook client or what client you're using and put in these uh, pre-configured information. Um, the same thing can also be done with SMS integration. So if you have uh, access to an SMS service, which is using an HTTP format, then you are also able from the client to send an SMS text to any contact with an email uh, or with a mobile phone and also with the um, control f5 you will be able to uh, go directly into a chat session uh, on, on on teams and skype uh, short codes uh, you can set up some short code features also accesses from the menu and we have a way to kind of show uh, how to signal uh, absence if you uh, 
um, this can be a short code in Voicemail Pro uh, or a, a VDN on a, with a vector on Aura. And then when a call comes in and um, and this is forwarded to this destination, you can see that this person is um, is at lunch, and also it will give the, the treatment for this call on the Voicemail Pro or on the vector, and you can decide there what to do with the call um, in the solution. Just a second. Yes, um, this is more or less the presentation of the solution. Um, is there any questions, Wilbert, uh, so far we should uh, address? At the moment, I was uh, complimenting what you were uh, okay. you were showing, so I was I was writing. If there is any question, please just drop a message on the chat. Or, as we have only eight minutes left, maybe if you wanted to open your microphone and ask a question, I mean, uh, be our guest, please. In, in the meantime, now that, uh, now that we were talking about the, the integration with uh, with several uh, platforms, I mean, uh, I was writing, it's not easy to summarize, uh, but I mean, uh, this, as you see, this uh, unified operator, this attendant uh, is able to serve uh, uh, um, not only one platform at a time. I mean, we can serve with, with from this receptionist, uh, uh, you can serve, an IPF system plus an Aura system plus a third-party system. So we we integrate everything together in the server side. So the the, the in this case attendant, because it's it doesn't matter where exactly this user is based or or which country, which platform they uh, they are being uh, served. I mean we can just integrate everything on the server side. So uh, the attendants is absolutely transparent for them to uh, to see the mode. Yeah, what we have seen is a. Uh, it can be a way also to do um, uh, some some migration that you start with the with the attendant consoles and then uh, do an integration to the the platform they're moving away from, and then you can take them away like one by one, uh, department by department, and move them to to the new uh, solution. Uh, it could be either uh, it could be a customer who's having a CS1K uh, solution that wants to go to IP office, then put in an IP office as a as a little island and uh, start moving their devices. And uh, uh, then as soon as they come to the solution, they will have stage with some presence and all these things. Mm -hmm. We are uh, four minutes le uh, left. Uh, now that we are talking about infrastructure, maybe we can. Um, uh, talk about the uh, very briefly the technical requirements on the on the uh, on the via platform in order to be compatible to integrate with with us uh, because we have we are compatible with IP Office that it has their own CTI Link Pro requirements and then in case of Aura you only need AES in case of Aura for instance we have been uh, a lot of a lot of success on on Aura upgrades because the new uh, uh, attendant solution requires a, um, a some a breeze uh, servers or I mean a lot of infrastructure. So in our case, maybe we only need you know in the Aura side uh, AES and one SAPI license uh, per basic per attendant. And in the case of IP Office, we today we need only CTI Link Pro, but the new version uh, of the IP Office uh, 11.1. Uh, it's going to allow us to do more things easily, but so, this is something I think it's in the process to be confirmed, uh, isn't it, uh, yeah, uh, Kel? Yeah, and uh, like one thing which is important to to mention is that uh, uh, everything we do is based on the on the capability of the of the Avaya solution. So we take advantage of the the good features are there, and we. We try to add some functionalities that makes um, uh, that increases the, the usability or maybe gaps uh, some some culture uh, uh, gives some extra features. So it's it's like you have a very stable solution in the Via uh, solution, and so you don't set up every servers that are not needed. 
with the way it's built, it's like it has automatically uh, fallback because it's using a hunk group. So if something fails in the network, as, as long as the phones are working, uh, the calls will come through. Uh, we're just an, an enabler and trying to do things smart on the top and add uh, extra functionalities. Um, also, uh, regarding what Wilbur was saying in the beginning with um, with the, all the spatial development, we have over the time, we've been around for, for many years now, and uh, we've done uh, a lot of uh, solutions and a lot of solutions we have also done where the request was that if we can do this, then we will get the customer case. And our experience is that a lot of customers are alike. Uh, so if one customer is asking for uh, one feature, then it's something that a lot of customers will like to have and then we will uh, build it in in the standard solution uh, so also with the solution we always sell software assurance which give access to uh, for you as a reseller to to free support uh, for the tier 3 and 4 support and it also gives the customer access to uh, major and minor upgrades so they will always be able to uh, to follow and upgrade their uh, their via platform uh, be able to follow the newest Windows uh, releases, um, so so th they can move forward in a way that the solution is not getting old. Um, so that's uh, yeah something which is important to say, uh, and that also well, means that, yeah sorry uh, that there is some functionalities in here that can be enabled that are not part of the default installation, but some functionalities that we have made for some customers that can be enabled in case that uh, it's needed. So it's always good if you have a special request from a customer just to ask us uh, if we have it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that means one minute left. So I think um, yeah. just to thank everyone to be part of this session. Uh, tomorrow we're going to have another session. Uh, we're going to be focused on Unified Directory. Plus we're going to add the Mobile Agent too. So thank you everyone. And yeah, thank you everyone.